Okay, so we had a pretty hectic overclocking weekend last weekend with uh, the uh, SR3 Dark, the W3175X, 28 core CPU, and two RTX 3090 Kingpin cards in SLI. Obviously, I will be uh, making, well, uh, at the time of making this video, I still haven't made like uh, the videos regarding it, but the scores have already been posted at HWBot as well as uh, some news articles at least on IO Tech and Hardwarebot Facebook page and so on. But anyway, so uh, uh, I got some LN2 with me from uh, the place where we did the overclocking, so in Espoo in southern Finland. And uh, I thought about doing some more relaxing overclocking attempts with that 35 liter amount of LN2 that I got or what was left after the event. So. Uh, I thought about retrying the E8500 on the Rampage Extreme as I quickly confirmed last time that it works completely fine on the Rampage Extreme. So running the Team Finland Edition Rampage Extreme at the moment. So uh, let's try the CPU very briefly now on this board. And uh, let's try to break all of the remaining records. So let's try W Prime first very quickly. Then uh, Super Pi, 32M and Pi Fast, as I still have 1M and well all of the W primes. So uh, just want to see how it goes, like properly without any issues. So uh, Rampage Extreme, Team Finland Edition, two sticks of Corsair Dominator GDX2, they are over there. And uh, yeah, ED8500, the very same CPU. And uh, F1 Dark from Kimping, Super Flower 2000W Lidex, Platinum power supply, no Inferno backplate. So just cooling down to like minus 110, 120 and then let's start the system and see how it goes. So I'll use the capture card obviously and just show you all of the different settings. PLL setting it manually over there. So that's pretty much it. So let's see how it goes and let's hope for the best. Okay, so minus 72 at the moment. Let's go over here. I'll load the 8600 profile. It's pretty much what we will be trying to run. 655, I think, to post straight away. 1970, 675. 1.92, 1.45, 1.63, 1.86. Pretty easy. Just wait for the temperature and we'll go. Okay, minus 140. Put it straight away. Very, very easy. 6220. Oh, yeah. So the memory will be the issue because we, po we booted it relatively low speed. 660. 665. Need to check the memory. That's 2000. I need to pay an eye on this thing. Okay. So we hang. I'll work on this. 6.4. No damn idea what was the record. We'll see. So try 6.4 now. Eleven two a one. Yep, easy top score. Two hundred milliseconds, roughly. Try more. Speed. 
1444, it's this record. Six four something. So that's the new PyFast top score with the E8500 at 6.4.12, 14.44, previous top score by Tapaka, Sam OCX, 14.47 on a better operating system. But anyways, very nice top score at 6.75 FSP. Thirty six, six four fifty three. One more. Okay, so that's the uh, Super Pi 32M, top score 7 minutes 18.5 seconds, spot on 18.5, around 13 seconds faster than the previous top score by Tapaka or Sam. The previous top score by Sam was very uh, on par with my previous like uh, fastest run in this particular test with the E8500. I was close on passing with the memories at 2170 uh, plus but I need more on the north bridge voltage, it seems. So I'm still playing it safe, so I could try uh, even 680 plus on the FSP now. But uh, yeah, very, very good score. I think the CPU could almost beat the top um, E8600 Super Pi 32 m which was, uh, I think it was seven minutes and 13 seconds. So it's quite crazy, if you ask me. But yeah, so hopefully you like, hopefully you like the score. And okay, that's pretty much it. So I was able to run the E8500 at 675, pretty spot on, like uh, in every possible test. And some runs well above 680 FSP in uh, some particular uh, benchmarks. So uh, I think there's still like headroom in this, uh, on this CPU as I was able to like post even above 690 FSP, but it always failed the uh, Windows operating system boot. So uh, I think there's still something I could try to discover, but I pretty much tried all of the things that I know this far, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I was able to improve my uh, W Prime 32 top score by like 200 or even 300 milliseconds. I actually passed 1024 amp once above 6.4 gigahertz, but the uh, actual performance or the score was worse than what I had with the uh, P5E3 Premium last time at 6.37 GHz. But obviously, as my uh, current like top score is already so good compared to the rank 2 and rank 3, 
I can always return to that test if I want to improve my score. Now uh, 1M I improved my previous top score by roughly like 50 milliseconds, so spot on 7 seconds. Pi fast, the first run was 14.44 and then I got one run after that that was better. And an insane 13 second improvement on the Superbike 32M top score over the previous top score by uh, Sam or Tavakar. But yeah, now the only thing I'm missing at the moment is the maximum uh, CPU-Z validation. The current one is made by some Chinese guy, actually a very famous legacy overclocker, but he ran uh, P45, so he was at like 705 FSP, 6.7 gigahertz. But um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not too much into validations because they don't tell anything about real-world performance. Even that 6.7 at 705 FSP on uh, P45, that would be slower in SuperPi 32M than what we ran today on this Rampage Extreme X48 board with good DDR3 memories. But yeah, so it was very fun to test the boundaries of this particular uh, Rampage Extreme and uh, well, any other like X48 uh, 775 motherboard so uh, pretty uh, happy so 680 was close on passing in SuperPi 32M and memory wise I could go to uh, like 6 uh, I mean 2160 to 2170 but it always failed at like loop 5 or so like during the early loops in SuperPi 32M I think it's possible to do but it definitely needs some practice and a lot more testing and uh, yeah, well, I can use whatever CPU I wish for the uh, next attempt. So it can be E85, E8400, E8500, E8600 and so on. But yeah, all of these scores will be on hardware bot. So uh, just check them out if you are interested uh, in these scores. And uh, if you like my overclocking adventures on these legacy platforms, then definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again. And I will see you on the next one.